What's up, guys? Welcome to another Let's Go to Work, the Steve the Gamer episode, of course. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this, but um, we did get our license. Now that we are good with our license, I did get my um taxi license and all that. Yes, we are still driving this Lambo. Um, we're gonna return it hopefully later, but um, yeah, I need I need to get my car. Plus, we might be going somewhere tonight. So right now, let's get some food. Um, we have to drop off this car for the rental company though. So let's get some food first. And then uh, after that, we're going back to the house plus plus, which is going to bring me back to story time. So I, I, I'll tell you guys later. All right now, let's get some food, man. Let's get started. I have to remember the car that we drop off at the um, dealership, not dealership, but at the shop. We need we need to definitely get that. I don't care. All right. We get some, we got some food real quick. Let's go, man. I hope you guys been enjoying these type of jobs, of course. Um, today I'm thinking about two jobs that we might end up doing, either the waste management or we work for um, I guess we work for the bank in a way. But um, you guys, you guys know I'm just trying like to do like most of the job. They are like really close to some of the job that I had in real life and stuff like that. So let's hope you guys gonna enjoy those. Oh, why did I go that way? All right, so where are we picking up the car right now is right over here. We have to bring it back to the dealer and then take a taxi. I don't even have no space to put it, so I'm probably just gonna leave it outside. And then hopefully when I get to work, like um, I don't work tomorrow over there, so when I get to work um, uh, the next day or whatever, the day after tomorrow, <laughs> we'll get a chance to either put it in or we'll let somebody know. But one thing that I remember we used to do, if somebody had to drop off a car like that. We will leave the keys like somewhere around the tires and stuff like. That. I don't think nobody do that anymore. Which I think that would be pretty smart, cause man, that would not be a great idea to leave the keys like around the car like that. Come on, man, get out my way. I saw the cop this one slow down too. We should be good. So right now we're picking up this car. We're gonna drop. We're gonna leave this car here. I don't want to take this all the way to the airport. And the last thing you want to do too is put too much miles on the Lambo. I'm pretty sure, like when you used to let me drive those cars, yeah, there was there was definitely a limit. You might not see it, but I'm pretty sure there was a limit. All right, so we're gonna park this uh, right here. All right, and we do have to go back home and change and all that too, man. As you guys can see, we are full. So it's ready. I thought it was gonna give me another car, man. This thing sounds so funny though. Oh, you guys are going to enjoy that. All right, let's go. All right, so we're going to take an Uber back or a taxi back. Uh, so we're going back all the way. And as you guys can see, all the jobs that are all available too. We're going all the way to dealership. I mean, not dealership, but the car rental company. I mean, uh, the one in this game is 6C, but you guys already know. I had uh, I had some good history right in, um I was about to say Instagram with Enterprise. That's what I was trying to say. Enterprise was was a pretty cool job, man. Definitely a big shout out to all the managers, of course. I remember um oh, which bring me to story time. This is two guys that got hired and got fired almost in this in the same week. It was crazy. I guess in a way they they were I felt like they was competing for the position, but they both had the position. Like we needed people around that time. They both had the position, but these dudes end up fighting, so they both got fired. Like I was like, yo, this was so pointless. Like can you imagine you getting fired like that, man? And that's one thing. No, no sir, you ain't gonna catch me fighting at work or anything like that. Let's go, bring it outside, bro. Not at work, man. You ain't gonna you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna mess with my job, bro. But as I'm saying right now, guys, um, we are heading back over there. So I'm gonna park it, and then after that, I'm watching out for cops too. So once we park it, we'll take an Uber back um, to the car, and then uh, we're going back home. Uh, but you know what? There's a U-Haul truck I wanted to rent. Yes, which also bring me back to story time. So because um when I, I remember when I used to work, so I work for Enterprise and I also work for um what you call it, the bank. And also I had another like like there was a point I had three jobs at one time. 
So I had multiple cars. I had the job cars plus my cars. So I had like three cars on my own plus the job cars. So um, I remember the bank. The bank gave me a minivan. Man, that minivan, bro. <laughs> I remember those, man. I actually remember those days. So we're gonna try to get in from right here. Up, oh, there's definitely a cop car right there. Yeah, so I had a minivan. I had a Jeep. And no, actually two cars of mine and two job cars. That's what I meant to say. I had three cars for a while, but um I remember selling one of mine. But right now what we're gonna do guys um is just park this close and then we can actually car an Uber. Yeah. I remember doing things like that too. So what we used to do, right? Um we usually have to pick up cars from like the airport, especially the new cars. That's one thing I miss doing too. You know what? Um we won't have to leave it in a lot. I'll park it right here. And I'll just call it over from right here. The lights look so weird, like they are under the car. Alright, so we're gonna leave it out. I remember having to leave um cars out like that because I did not have um the keys to get in. Because I remember we had a lock, right? We had a lock. I can actually close the store, but I couldn't open it. So it's just I mean, I was okay with that. I could stay late get my work done and then the next morning I didn't have to do anything um until like you know I was, I was, until I get busy hey taxi tax hey did he stop oh yeah we got a taxi all right so we know exactly where we're going we're going back to the car hey man that's one thing like when you're at the airport can't miss no taxis bro we got taxis for days how you doing man I just need to head to that location I just skip there, guys. We don't have to drive and do all that stuff. These taxi drivers be crazy, though, for real, for real. But I hope you guys have been enjoying this series. I mean, I get a chance to talk to you guys about, like, you know, a lot of stuff. All right, so now we are back to the Lambo. I need to pick up a U all truck. So, yeah, as I was saying, I had a couple cars. Doesn't matter the number. So, yeah, so I just remember two. Two for the jobs, the Jeep and the, and the minivan. And then I had like my mi little Mitsubishi Galant. <laughs> man, I remember that car. That car, man, we've been through a lot with that car, man. We've been through a lot. And uh, when I first got that car, I'm talking about story time. When I first got that car, I used to live in the Bronx. I used to live in the Bronx with, um, with my ex, of course. And uh, that car, when I say like, yo, that car got around like from Brooklyn Bronx and that was the car that I also used for like the newspaper stuff. <laughs> that was man, that was a pretty cool car. Man. It was loud. It was loud, yes. I don't know why. I cut off um I cut off my exhaust. <laughs> yes, cut off the exhaust, put some like, you know, some really loud one. And uh, yeah, from there that car never been the same, but that was also the car that I experienced lowering. Like I remember lowering that car too low to the ground to the point where, man, trying to drive. I mean, trying to drive a car in the Bronx that's low. Like I'm talking about, like I destroyed my oil pan. I just like the exhaust came off one time, front lip came off, the side skirt came off. Like it was like things after things, and I was like, nah, man. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. Let me see. Do they have any overall truck available right now? I remember we, we had a couple. Um, So there was this place, this gas station by the house, which is the main reason why I decided to do the same thing. There was this gas station by the house. And stuff like that. So I'm supposed to be looking at this place in the morning. So let's go check out the, the UR truck. They should be right here on the left. We pass you, man. Oh, there's always a cop over here. This is what I'm trying to be careful. All right, as long as they have some trucks. We're good. We're gonna grab a UR truck in the morning. Yeah, they are closed right now, guys. All right. I see that they have a lot of trucks. So one of my mistake. Yeah, talk about story time. One of my mistake that I did. Oh, we gotta stop at the gas station, bro. Plus, we got a party to go to, bro. We got a party to go to in a minute, in a minute. and then we can actually uh, just do our thing. Hopefully, I won't have to stay that late. All right, so let's fill up our tank. We won't have to stop here. But I'm about to go to the house, change real quick. 
Yeah, so the main reason why I was talking about like all the cars that I have. That was a problem for my landlord. I just didn't understand. That was a problem. So what happened is um I tell him there was one of the cars. When I parked in um so we we were sharing parking, right? Sharing parking in Brooklyn is really hard. Especially when um I usually park in the back because I know he's the one that's always right. Let me go ahead and U-turn. He's the one that's always in and out, in and out. That car that I park in the back, I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't, I barely move it. But he always want me to move it when he come through and all that stuff. I mean, I agree if I'm home. But most of the time, I won't be home. Where, what, is, what is wrong with these guys? There's no lights here. Why am I stopping too? But um, we're back, back and forth. Dude got really disrespectful. And then uh, the next thing I know, he's telling me I need to move out. I got so pissed, man. And that was my little apartment too. I mean, man, that thing like really pissed me off. I was like, you know what? I'm out. I'm out. All right. I hope nobody don't hit this Lambo, but we we do have to get ready for the party. So I'm just gonna do this almost the same thing. So we gotta move out of this place because the landlord want us to, to move out. Oh, do you guys think we should definitely keep this place? We're gonna have to fight the landlord though. But yeah, me and the landlord definitely went back and forth. But right now, guys, I'm just about to change. All right, here I go with the hat, bro. I guess that was just me. <laughs> Yo, each outfit. I remember each outfit that I had, bro. There was a hat for it. There was a hat. If I didn't have the do rag under it, I mean that's that's just I don't think nobody wear. It. Does anybody wear do rags nowadays? You no, know, we have to keep keep the waves for the morning, you know, for school and all that. I'm talking about that, we gotta go to school in the morning. All right, so we're about to pull up to this party right now, guys. Um, I got a couple of friends that's there already. We'll pull, we we'll be pulling up right now and uh, see how it is. Like me, when it comes to a party, if it's it's if it's a vibe. And I know some people there. I'm saying, but it's if it's not a vibe, and I don't know nobody there like that. All right, what is the best way to get there? I think the party's over here somewhere. Best way to get there is to go straight. All right, but yeah, if it's, I mean, even sometimes if it, there's some people you don't know, and you know, everybody's chill, everybody's cool, we cool, we all cool in it. I might stay. Once I see the party ain't like what I expected, or at least um, a vibe, I'm out. Bro. I'm out. <laughs> That's just the way I do things. Bro. Right now we're pulling up with a Lambo. They already they already got a spot waiting for us. Bro. And that's one thing I don't like to go to a party that I'm not invited to. Like I don't know, man. If I'm not invited, or like if it's if it's a regular party like the club or something like that. Oh, they got a sick highway. But if it's not a party like that, like uh, it's like it's like a, a get together in a way, a bunch of friends. Yeah. But right now we are heading there. The game look amazing at night. This is version of NVE. This is NVE, by the way, guys. This is straight up NVE. No point five, no none of that. Um, this thing looks amazing, man. But um, we are going to the party right now. So um, I have two jobs that I might take tomorrow, but we do have something going on at the school too. That was that was one thing that I used to get involved in, in a lot when there's like activities going on in the school. You know, I just get involved, help out, do what I need to do, especially school projects. That was my thing. I was just, I, I guess that was just me, man. I used to do my thing, of course. You know, uh, yeah, there might be something going on at the school tomorrow, so. We're gonna try to get involved. Let me see. Do I have oh I have my high beam on. I was wondering why these lights were so bright. I'm not following lights, so you guys already know. I was at the turn of that too. Alright, so just like I said, man, we're gonna check out this body. See what type of vibes that's in there. We'll we'll, we'll just look at everything. And uh if it's worth staying, especially for my sleep. Because I gotta go to work in the morning. Look booming! It looked packed. Oh, they got my spot though. They got my spot. It looks like it's booming already. Okay, okay, okay. I see. All right, but we here. We here. Let's move. Let's let's pull up over here. That's one thing. I mean, 
the other day I had the parallel park. I was like, man, this is something that I used to do like every. I remember having the parallel park every day for the job, bro. So, whoa, somebody else got the heat. Are you trying to help me out, bro? No, I usually park close to the curb, but I, I don't want to curb this guy Lambo though. <laughs> Yes, I used to still pull up with the hat in the club and all that stuff, man. I don't know what was, I don't know what was up with me and that that hat, bro. <laughs> Wait, I thought that was this club booming, bro. It was another club. Why is it so quiet in here? Why is it so quiet in here? All right. I want to lick your face all over. Moron. What is wrong with you, bro? I'm a birth American. Uh, I'm this spiritual. place is packed, bro. Word. All right, it's a vibe. It's a vibe. All right, oh boys, um, performing right now. Okay, okay, it's a vibe, bro. It's a vibe. We staying. All right, grab me something to drink and uh, we staying. We staying. Probably get a table or something like that. Let's meet up with our friends though. Why is it so hard to find a nice simple man who loves a nice simple woman? Whatever. Bro, who did that? All right, I heard they shooting outside, bro. I'm out of here. I'm out of here, bro. Nah, man. Nah, I gotta go to work at them. Oh, they clear out, bro. Everybody's out. Everybody's out. Oh, yo, yo, yo. All right, all right. I'm out. I'm out. This ain't it, man. This ain't it. I'm out of here. Come on, come on, come on. I gotta go to work in the morning. You see how they clear out? They were shooting outside. Everybody in the club just staying in. No, man. I'm out. I'm going straight home. Everybody run. Hey, you need a ride? You good? All right, guys. So we're just gonna give her a ride home, and then we go home, man. I got work in the morning. All right. Everybody was just screaming. Everybody's out the club already now, man. Wow. Yeah, man, we get a chance to drop this Lambo. I'm probably gonna have to drop this off too. My goodness, man. All right, but it was a vibe, though, man. I hope you guys did enjoy the party. I mean. The time fly by, especially when you're hanging out like that. But um, I remember this lady because she lived at the place. Oh, actually, we passed it already. She lived at the place. You know, we seen like something, something trying to make you know. She lived at the place that we used to manage. But guys, we're going to the house right now. But um, uh, yeah, by the time I look, I mean, it's it's about to be six o'clock already. So that's what I usually do since I slept already before the club, right? I feel like we were already kind of slept open before the club. So we go, we're gonna go straight to work. And I heard about this job that they were talking about. Plus, I gotta go look at this property right after. I might go to class today, but uh, we'll see. We'll see if I have the time. And then if we come from on this property, we'll pick up a U haul over here. But in the meantime, we just coming back to the house to change. All right, we're basically coming back to the house to change, and then we should be all set. I mean, a three-point turn right here, man. I don't want to curb the Lambo now. We're driving this Lambo way too much now, man. I think I'm gonna go drop this off. Yeah, before we get this job, I'm gonna go drop this off. That's the last thing you want to do is put some miles on somebody's Lambo, bro. Yeah, let's go change. All right, so you guys get a chance to see how I change too, since we don't have to go to sleep or anything like that. All right, guys, so I decided to take a shower and all that, but um, yeah, by the time we look, it's already 730. So let's hurry up. I, you know, I just want to drop off this car. You know, certain time when you have to do runarounds, you don't want to be responsible for certain car, like this car, this certain place you can't park it. So I'm gonna go pick up my car. And then uh, after that, we can actually, oh, you know what? While we up there, I was thinking about doing this after. But after we um, pick up our car, I can actually um, check out that property we were talking about. But I don't know the exact location. Plus, I don't want this job to be. Oh, at this point, I don't even want to return the Lambo, man. Because we got things to do. All right, so let's see. I want to try out for this job. So they got multiple locations, as you guys can see. I really could return the Lambo right now, but uh, 
I'm not gonna have to drive it anymore if I just go to one of the jobs. But you know what? No, let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. The last thing you want to do, right? While you had a job, and then they hit the car that you parked somewhere, and you know, especially if it's not your car. Oh, God, we ain't doing that. We're gonna return this baby right here. Alright, just like I asked you guys last time, man, since we're picking up we're picking up our car right now. Let me see the best way over there. We're picking up our car, but what, which car would you guys want to see me drop next? I was thinking about the, that event but we'll see. That's the oh I, yo, I kind of felt like that was name in the street. Not a twin turbo, but it's still something else. Going up these mountains, man. Was that a dude running on the street? Wait, I haven't seen that around here. That's somebody's dog. Somebody's cat. Okay. It's early in the morning. It's 8 o'clock, 8.30 actually. I'm trying to get to my location. This is a bad thing to do, trying to cut somebody while turning. This is GTA, and we do things like that. So right now, um, we're just gonna drop off this car. I think I'm gonna pick up my charger. It's really hard not to pick another one of his cars, though, man. But I gotta do my thing today, man. That's why I got my car. Come on. First person view. I know some of you guys enjoy that. car. Hey man, we did what we had to do. Thank you, buddy. I'm thinking about like what call you guys thinking next though, and imagine he would let us I mean a person that will let you drive any of his cars. Which car would you take next? I I want this Aventador right here, man. Out of all this, that's crazy, right? The Aventador. The Ferrari's alright. Um the Hellcat, I kind of feel like we have a charger already. We can never drive the Bugatti. Um, the LaFerrari is a no, no. I could do that Lambo right here. Let me let me start it real quick. Let me see what it sounds like. We need to go talking about that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I like it. I like it. And we got a track off too. I know some of you guys would definitely say a track off. Daily in the track arc like that. Ah, man. All right, so I'm picking up my charger. And yes, that was my real life charger over here with some Rams, all white and all that. <laughs> Had that for a couple of years. And yeah, man, I did enjoy this car. All right, let's go. So uh, I'm trying to figure out which job we're going to take. Um, But this this one might be working for the bank, which is something that I did for a while. Um. Where is the closest one? They do have multiple locations now, though. So we have this one. We have that one. That one. We have a lot of place in the city. I realize we even got Polito. Oh, they got everywhere now. Um, since I'm right here, why not take this one right here? Should just go up. I mean, we'll take these back roads. Yeah, I'm gonna take that one. Just do the job and come back do what we have to do. Now, this is not a job that I did in real life, but this was close enough to the job that I did in real life. So um, when I used to work for like, you know, um, this company, 
I don't even want to say their name. <laughs> but when I used to work for this company, I remember. I mean, that was one job that I quit because it, it was it was getting scary and scarier, and I was like, nah, man, I, I'm good on that. So whenever um, there's an ATM down, like I was responsible for Brooklyn, Manhattan, partial Manhattan. Manhattan is, is they got too much ATM, bro. And then uh, the Bronx. And sometimes this is why I used to tell you guys I used to go to Connecticut all the time. So from Connecticut and also Long Island, I didn't have. I mean, I had some location in Queens, but not all. So anyway, when you all feel service engineer, you are responsible for these things. Once they go down, once they go down, it's your job to go fix it. And by fixing it, you are exposing huh, a lot of money. I don't even. I don't even want to say numbers. By fixing an ATM, you are exposing like so much money to the point where it's like. If the ATM get open with your keys, you are responsible for it. Or if that was you on the clock that day, so that job was just getting scary and scarier because there will be like people that follow us. There will be people that trying to um, uh, what you call it? There was this device that they used to try to like put on the ATM and stuff like that, which they cracked down on that really quick. But um, and I remember yo recently I got yo I got so pissed because I got. I almost fell for um that same device, bro. Somebody put it at a gas station, bro. Uh, that's one thing I, I like to give you guys a warning. If um the ATM you swiping in feel weird or it's it's like it's coming off a little bit, somebody's still in your car. <laughs> Straight up. Somebody's still in your car. And I got so pissed because they got me, I had to cancel my card. But I mean I usually don't fall for that. But it is what it is. Sometimes when you're not paying attention. Like I just I was just doing gas quickly, so I swiped the first time it did not work. Swiped the second time, and I end up changing the the um where I was uh the 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 tank that I was using. But to find out there was this person that was just waiting for me to just you know leave there. They usually be like close enough because they have the the device have to be connected to whatever they use in either a laptop or something like that. And uh, once they did that, man, they really got my card. I was so pissed because I had to cancel the card. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. All right, so we're going to park right here, guys. Wait, there was another spot over there. I don't have to park right here. Park right here instead. The bank is packed. Everybody, you see, this guy parked pretty bad. Man, I hate when, uh, you know, I, I really don't like when people park like that. All right. Come on, man. All right. Let's go. So this is the job that we're doing today. Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this. And yeah, it's just like I said, this is nothing like I did. I wasn't moving money or anything like that. I was fixing most of the ATM that had money in them. Switch to Michael or Trevor to work as the oh, so I kind of have to work as Michael or Trevor. So maybe we won't do this job today. Maybe I'll do it with Michael and them. But I got a chance to explain the job to you guys because I wanted to do a different job too. I don't know if I should do this today. Yeah, I think we can actually move on. I thought Franklin could do it too. I guess Franklin can't because we are AKA Franklin low key. All right, so we're moving on to the next job, which is going to be right over here. I hope I can actually do this with Franklin, but you guys let me know. Should I still do this job? But I got a chance to explain to you guys that was one of the job that was close enough to one of the job that I've done in real life, of course. All right, so anyway. We are heading to the second job. I knew I, I felt like it wasn't going to work, but you know, I had to try right now. And you guys can tell like I play straight up when it comes to the game and stuff like that. We're going to stop at the gas station, fill up, and then uh, we should be at the waste management job. It's 12 o'clock already. What time they pick up garbage for you guys? They usually, man, for me, I think it's like 8 o'clock, 8 30, 9 o'clock. If I don't put it out by that time, I got to wait till next week, bro. I gotta wait till next week, but um, let's get some gas real quick. Man, I thought this job was gonna work, but it's also a job that um, I don't know. They involve a lot of other stuff that I never done, so <laughs> we'll be all right. We'll be all right. All right, fill up. Let's go. All right, so the job should be all the way over here. I think some of you guys might remember this job. I probably did it like once or twice. Oh, maybe we did a series. Did we do a series on the waste management job? 
which is a job I always thought like pay. Like I remember um just uh some of the guys that I, I used to know. They were if they worked for uh, you know waste management and stuff like that. They were paying getting paid well, bro. All right, so we're gonna park um right over here. I just need the job today, man. I think we might skip school today, or you know, what? let me check my schedule. It's Friday. I don't know if we have class on Friday, bro. Let's check our schedule. Do we have class on Friday? I'm trying to find out if I have class on Friday, man. All right, job detail. Oh, it's every day. Can we take a day off? You guys saw that? So I can actually do this job. I'm gonna ask for a day off. <laughs> Let's take a day off, man. Day off request accepted. Enjoy your time off today. Yep. I'm taking a day off so I can actually go do another job. All right. All right, what's going on, man? I heard you were hiring. What's up? Yo, what's up? What's up, man? Yo, look at, look at the cops. Get in the truck. Okay. So that's all we got to do. It's been a while since I did this job, too, guys. So good luck to me. All right, get in the truck. Drop to the pickup location. All right, we got an empty truck. We just have to drop off to the pickup location. I thought it was like one of those, but I remember there was a job where we have to actually pick up garbage and stuff like that. I think I might have to do that job, too. But this one is just waste manage a uh, waste stuff where we just pick up most of the uh, I guess whatever they drop off over there. We'll pick it up. And you know how sometimes they usually leave a container for like construction and stuff like that. And talking about construction guys, did you guys know I work as an electrician? Like that was a pretty cool job. It was a summer job though. And the guy had so so much of a great offer. The only thing I didn't like the fact that he was trying to do is like I, I did not regret my decision still today. He was I mean, the last offer was um hey man, I know this was a summer job. We really like you. We'd love for you to work for us, but you have to quit school. I was like, if you can't work on my schedule in school, bro, I am good. I am good because once you get mad at me or once something happened, you're gonna threaten me and all that stuff. And then once I get fired, who's gonna hire me, bro? Without like that was high school for me. So that's why I was like, no, sir. No, sir. I'm good on that. I'm good. And then he just, I mean, he just moved on. And I'm just, I, I did too. <laughs> but working as an elect electrician in Manhattan, I got a chance to meet a lot of people. I got a chance to be in a lot of people's houses too. Like, I got a chance to see like a different point of view of like, you know, the way I wasn't living in Brooklyn and stuff like that. But there were some houses in Manhattan. And you know what? First time. I seen like a custom computer, right? Was at this person's house, and I was like, "Wow, you know, I would love to have that one day, for real." I saw this custom computer. It was this place in Manhattan, like it was like around 14th Street or something like that. I still remember that place because, man, I was so amazed with that computer. I never seen a computer with like high tech computer like that. Parked close to the container. Oh, okay. I see. I see the container. Wait, which one? I think it's a container in the back. We don't want to mess with these guys, too. Yeah, first time I seen one was um, I had to I had to run. So I used to run like the cables through the wall and all that stuff. Like when we have a project, so that guy, you know what he wanted to do? He wanted to switch his apartment into like uh, he wanted to add more stuff to his apartment as far as like the was that it? This is the closest I could get to this, man. Wait, which one? Oh, it's the one in the back. I was wondering. It's the one in the back, man. Like, wrong one, Steve. I don't want to hit these guys, too. Oh, shoot. Nope. These guys do not like people. Right, I'm going to back up for a minute. I do not have the clearance, bro. All right, there we go. They cool down. You know, you just got to you just gotta act like you belong. That's what we're doing right now. All right, this container right here. There it go. All right, let's just say it's in there. I think I'm supposed to switch. <laughs> Is that the road truck? All right, it usually full, but you know what? We got, we got it. We heading back. 
now I can actually do that. I leave. <laughs> yeah, but um, working as an electrician, and, um, like, it was a summer job. It was a pretty cool summer job, but I was like, no, sir, mm -mm. I can't, man. And uh, other than that, I got a chance to like, just I mean, you guys remember? I, I just told you guys the computer stuff, but I got a chance to like go into a lot of places. I mean, I never live in Manhattan, but I kind of feel like I live in Manhattan because there was certain jobs like, bro, I'm talking about like seven in the morning to like four o'clock every day, bro, every day for like a week or two. Sometimes we spend a month at a place or something like that. Oh, that's not like the train coming. We're good. But um, I remember I had the uh, one like wires like around like uh, this whole building. And uh, you know, it was a bunch of electrician jobs, but um, yeah, man, we did it. And also, it remind me of um, when it's time for Labor Day. You know, all those stuff that goes on on Eastern Parkway. I remember I used to be part of that project too, which was pretty cool. But it was this place, uh, almost the end. Oh my goodness, yo, dude, man, come on! Almost at the end of um, the parade. But there's a there's a building over there where we used to like um, set up like a whole stage because they used to celebrate at night there. Like when I say like I got involved in a lot of project, I, man. I, when it comes to New York, man, I got a chance to work. I got a chance to see New York. I feel like New York is always gonna be home. Talk about that. I got to visit next month too. It's been it's been a while since I've been to New York. I just like I said, man. I haven't been to New York since uh, you know the pandemic happened and stuff like that. But um, it's about that time. You know, can't wait. To visit, let's pull up. We did the job, man. We did the job. But let me know out of all the job that we've done so far, which one is your favorite? I know I've been talking about like story time here and there. I'm been trying to do the other job with Michael though. So is that it? Oh, now it's full. Wait, how did that happen? When did that happen? <laughs> Here we do it now. Nah, I'm done. I'm. I'm done. I'm gonna try to see if um I could pass. Let me see. Pass by the. I mean, we did take the day off though, but I really want to go see that that place, man. I hope you definitely, you guys definitely gonna enjoy it. Um, all right. So I did park at that place. Let's call a taxi real quick. Um, I need a cab. Uh, you know what? Maybe I need to install that Uber mod. We can actually have an Uber pick us up, man. I need a cab as soon as possible. On its way, sir. Thanks for calling. Sounds yeah, good. I'm not gonna pick up this job. I mean, I should have just say finish. Do I still have to drive it back? Hold up, hold up, guys. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I want to see this. I did say finish. Oh, I have to drive it back. Oh, forget about the cab. Forget about the cab. I actually have to drive it back, so I don't have to drive a cab. I mean, I don't have to catch the cab. Yep, I have to drive it back, so I got to ride back to my car. There's always jobs like that. Got to ride back to my car, man. Trying to do the shortcut over here. But I hope you guys are having a great Friday or whenever you guys are watching this. Always sharing some, you know, story time and all the stuff that I use. I've done. I know you guys have been liking this series, of course. Um, you know, most of the stuff that I usually get triggered by, like some of the jobs that we've done. I mean, I remember just having to like. So there was this job that I got, um, this tech job that I did for this um, hospital. I mean, for the same hospital, it was pretty cool though. But only one thing, <laughs> I had to like, you know, it was formal, so I had to wear like a suit every day. So I remember filling up my closet with suit, bro. When I say I had suit from like left to right, left to right, like just waking up early in the morning, put a suit on. I got pictures, bro. <laughs> pictures, oh yo, I remember those days, man. Those man, but um, we chilling though, man. We chilling. Is that the drop off? Cause they got a truck there. Okay, come back later for more work. One hundred and fifty dollars, just like that. All right. Uh, one thing I realized, I'm blocking the way. Hopefully, yeah, I'll fit this um charger. All right. Oh, there we go. We good. All right, guys. Um, so yeah, what we're we gonna do right now? 
is head over there. I need to go look at the place because I remember having to move and still going to work, bro. Um, yeah, I was that guy that pull up with the UR truck to work. Yes, I did that. And uh, I mean, it was embarrassing if they knew what I was. Oh, is that a cop? Is that a cop? Yeah, that is definitely a cop. We have to like follow the traffic. No, that's not a cop. Man, it'd be like that in real life too. You don't know, see those people that drive those those explorer. You like, oh man, that's a cop. That's a cop. But yeah, man, I pull up. Um, it was actually Enterprise, so I pull up to Enterprise because I had to go to work that morning, and then, uh, but I was also moving. So after work, I didn't want to like have to go home and do all that stuff. So I pull up with the truck, bro. No shame, no shame. I was like, yo, I'm moving, bro. I'm and I end up getting help from one of my friends too. So, cause I didn't have that much help packing, I packed the whole thing by myself. Cause I pick up the UO truck and I was like, all right, I'm out, man. But right now, I don't even know where this place is. It's been a while since I've seen this place too. So we're gonna have to really search for this place. But I know it's up in the hills. Uh, is it better? No. Is it inconvenient? Yes. Because I remember just having to move like that. Um, I mean, it was same place around Brooklyn. But it was so inconvenient because that was the last thing. So I remember just arguing with my landlord and stuff like that. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to move. I'm just going to move because it wasn't going to work for me. Plus, I mean, there was like back and forth way. He, uh, one time he almost like, yo, that was so close. Like if I feel like I would have lose it. Whoa, is the chopper going now? The stuff that you see in GTA, bro. Yo, he got it though. Yo, he almost lost it. He almost lost it, but yeah. Anyway, enough about that. Let's go, man, because I need some sleep. I need to go look at this place and then, you know, get some sleep. As you guys can tell, my sleep is going down to 13%. I don't think we're gonna be able to make it, bro. All right, so the place. Oh, the place is right here. The place is right over here. All right, it's not a bad place. Um, so the only thing is, I'm gonna have to share with other people. So let's park, and I won't have to worry about parking, man. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna park right here. Yeah, and look. Oh, oh no, 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 we can't. I was about to say we can't actually park down this way. No, nope, I don't think nobody will want to do that. All right, so welcome, welcome. This might be our new place. You guys vote yes or no, aka one or zero. One mean yes, zero mean no. So let me know if we should move into this place or should we look otherwise, man? You know, look for another place. This looks like a party house, though. And just like I said, it's not gonna be only us living in this place, but um, a couple other people. All right, as you pull up in here, nice living room. It's gonna be a shared living room. Oh, shared living room. All right, so we got ladies living in the house too. We got the kitchen, of course. Nice kitchen. All right, what is down here? Oh, the garage. Okay, we can actually um shed a garage. Not bad. I'm guessing a bathroom down here. Yeah, this is nice. Nice. Just like they say, they have only one room available. Somebody's moving out, but we still have to see their stuff. All right, let's see this room. This is decent. You know what you guys think, man? We got the bathroom over here. Now, do they have only one bedroom? All right, this is a different room. Oh, look at the DJ stuff. That would have been my room. So straight up. <laughs> remember my little apartment in Brooklyn, guys? I know you guys remember Geo in the background. <laughs> That's what it used to look like. Oh, man. And yeah, this might be our room. This might oh look at the racing sim set, bro. Yo. Yo, that's crazy. Yo, I was with a racing sim since like I can't remember. But man, since they were out. I'm so happy a lot of people use them now too. Oh shoot, is that the Fast and the Furious car collection? No, we got back to the future. Oh we got this is a car collection. Alright. Let me know what you guys think, man. Should we move in here? Is that a yes or no? But I like the spot. I mean, it's pretty far, but away from everything, though. And uh, yeah, once we crash here, 
And also our friend don't live too far from here. We can actually go grab a car, something like that, or hang out. But um yeah, I think this is gonna be it for today, guys. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this. And no story time for you guys, man. Like I feel like you guys are gonna know like you guys already know me so much. You guys are gonna know just everything about me, bro. But anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'll catch you guys next time, man. Peace.